G'day, welcome to Partaker's Think Spot at the start of a new week on Monday the 1st of August 2011. As a Christian, you are to be a little Jesus. That's what the word Christian means. In your local communities, wherever you happen to live, work, study or be, you are to live a life of obedience of and to Jesus Christ. For you are being transformed by the Holy Spirit who lives inside you. You are to be totally and willingly obedient to him. Obedience not out of some kind of slavish duty or ritual, but an obedience born from willingly loving God and loving others. People will know you are a follower of Jesus if you are obedient to him, practically showing love to all. Imagine the community where you are being transformed for Jesus Christ. Imagine your community filled with people seeking to know about Jesus because you and other Christians were sacrificing their time and possessions. Imagine the communities you are involved with wanting to give Jesus the glory and honour in every aspect of life. Imagine transformed communities of people totally devoted to Jesus and experiencing the power of the Holy Spirit in bringing people back to God the Father. Loving God and loving each other as he has commanded would help do this in your local communities. But you need to be lovingly obedient to Jesus Christ in both small and large things. Jesus said in John chapter 14 verse 21, Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them and show myself to them. You will face pressure to disobey him, even sometimes from those within your church. But if Jesus has commanded you to do something for him, you are to obey him. It is far better to obey God and disappoint people than to obey people and disobey God. Go into this week lovingly and willingly to be obedient to God. Trust in him and ask him for the strength to be lovingly obedient to him. He will help as you ask. It can sometimes be very difficult to be obedient to God, particularly as some people, even other Christians, will try to get you to disobey. Be strong in the Lord. Be bold. Be courageous. Need help? Then ask somebody to pray with you then be prepared for opportunities to be lovingly obedient to Jesus in small and big things. And here is a prayer to help you this week. Father, help us to live obediently to you. May the Holy Spirit encourage us as we seek to live worthily of Jesus Christ in loving obedience to him. Father, it is in his name we pray and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So be obedient, be bold, be strong, be courageous, be loving.